Hi, this is Neymar Reddy. So today we will see uh, XML identifier instance in map shape, how we will use this one. First, we'll try to understand why do we need to go with this. So let's uh, take a simple example here. Uh, simple example here. I have some book, uh, XML file that uh, bookstore is there. Let me have a list of books here. So in, in this list of books, I if, if I wanted to go uh, specific indexes, maybe if I want to go the first index, uh, if you want to go for the second index, or you want to go for the last index. So how do you get this uh, index? Based on that, if you use some, you know, I, uh, online utilities using an XPath expression, you will have an option to get uh, the specific index uh, or corresponding item. So let's say if you if you have installed an XML plugins in the Notepad plus plus, even you will get an XPath expression also. How uh, by selecting an element here, you will get an XPath expression. Let's see how this thing. Go to plugins, XML tools. If you don't have the plugin, is there? You go to plugin admin and then search for XML tools and click on install. So that will that will get your XML tools will be gets uh, available for you. Go XML tools and then you can just uh, uh, go for the current XML path. This one will give you the slash bookstore slash book slash title. So this is an XPath expression to get this one. So if you if you just go with this one, right? Uh, slash bookstore book title. Let's go with any XPath utilities online. You will get something. So I copied the same thing. So if you just get, get this one, right? So how many How many items are coming? one two three four you can see as soon as you highlight on the right side you can see that uh, the left side also the cursor is keep on moving that based on the um, so so what i was trying to say overall i think is if you just execute an xpath expression something like that bookstore book title when since book is a repeating element you will get a lot of uh, uh, Title, title elements from each book or uh, book and uh, from each book uh, complex element so in, in order to do that so if you want a specific one right what you will do is you'll use a uh, uh, predicts this is what I was we will do an XML, XPath uh, expressions let's go with the XML XPath you can see it says that bookstore of one book of one year of one it means that using the square brackets you can specify the index in which index you want to get this one so this is basically called an index here so let's say i want to go for the second one square bracket second you can see it's only gave harry potter only one let's say if i want to get the third one quick query x query quick start if i want to go for the fourth one you can see let's keep on so let's how Let's say I want to get only the complete set book. I don't want to go with specific uh, child elements of one, something like that. So how do you get this kind of uh, things in Dell Rumi? When you, you may be working with uh, XML profiles, you maybe have uh, gotten some, sometimes you maybe need to get a particular index. It may be a first index, it may be a, a last index, it may be some particular index. So how this uh, index can be a, uh, uh, can can do in uh, Dell Ruby or Map Profile? And um, just remember that this this XML identifier instance I was trying to uh, uh, talking about here is only applicable for an XML profile and uh, EDI profile both of not for the flat flat file database and JSON profiles. So let's go here. Let's uh, import the profile. Let's uh, save this one as a uh, XML file. Because we don't have an option explicitly, we don't have an option to specify uh, uh, to write an XPath expression in Boomi. Otherwise, we could have write an XPath expression and you can get the whatever you want. Uh, so that's the reason we were just seeing a few options how we can uh, without writing an XPath expressions uh, with inbuilt Boomi uh, Boomi map share functionality how we can get this one. 
let's import this profile. So we are assuming that we already know all uh, how to create a XML profile by using XML schema, XML sample, XML profile, everything. So that's why I'm not uh, uh, explaining in detail one here. Let's do the bookstore XML profile. Since it's all repeating elements, I'll go ahead and delete one of the elements here. So I got uh, this one. So what I was doing to do is I'm going to create one more. Uh, uh, I'm going to create one more uh, profile here. XML profile here. This one to just uh, to to get the particular index one. I'll map it to the the destination one. So I'll, I'll copy the similar structure. Filtered bookstore XML filtered. So what I will do is I'll just copy this one. Okay. Bookstore filtered. No thanks. I'll create manually. Bookstore. And after that, I'll just mention as a. Book first. I'll create one more thing. Add sibling elements. Insert sibling element. Book last index. So what I'm going to do is I'm just pasting it here. I'm just pasting it here yeah. so that I'm just going to copy the book uh, uh, and from this input XML I'm going to extract uh, the first index and the last index so the, the, the first profile that I created is a source profile that has a, a list of book element so in this one what I'm going to do is I'm creating a new uh, new format of bookstore I'm just creating one index the first index under that will be copying the first one under last index we'll be getting the last index so let's see save and close so let's create a simple process because we cannot directly execute the map shape right so let's create a simple map shape i'm just renaming it some <clears throat> Simple process name. So let's put the map message shape. Generally, we use message shape. In this case, we are using uh, just to play some XML content as a sample input. Okay, next we are just drag and dropping the map shape. Let's click on plus. We already created the XML, XML profiles. Let's go for XML. I created here XML entities. Bookstore XML is a one source profile. So here for this one, I need to specify this as an unbounded element. Bookstore filtered. So, what we need to do is let's click on uh, expand all. Okay. Let's click on uh, uh, the XML profile here. Let's click on book element here. Add an identifier instance. Let's click on this one. This is the option where you can specify this. You can just specify the identify by occurrence one occurrence you can give as many one two three four anything you can give i'm just creating a one more time add identifier instance this time i'm applying the 
last one you can see that from this book element right it just filtered out uh, based on the occurrence equal one occurrence is equal last and you will not able to expand this one not able to expand this one if you want you can even edit it even you can delete it but even as soon as you go to map shape right you the complete structure what the structure of your book right the complete structure will be disassembled here uh, each uh, uh, xml identifier instance let's see here you can see here so in that case what we are going to do right so we are mapping the complete book from here let's map it up this is the first index right let's minimize the last index category title language i'm just doing stride mapping no other complex things and the last one i'm just going here Just writing something like <clears throat> extract first and last index book map. So only that the key thing is when you're creating an XML profile, you need to specify the XML identifier instance. So since this, since I want to uh, filter the data from the source profile, that's the reason I specified source. Uh, uh, the XML identifier instance I added from here, but I don't want to filter anything from the destination profile. That's why I didn't do any changes here. I didn't define anything XML identifier instance, I think here. That's it, seven plus, save. Let's click on save. <clears throat> okay, now let's review the first element. <clears throat> let's click on shapes or data. first element will be a cooking and you know the year will be 2005 price 300 uh, sorry 30 so next category will be a uh, instead of cooking the first one is cooking and next category will be a book web web and cover is paper bag and year is 2003 first one is 2005 so let's extract and price is 39 first one is 30 let's see whether this one has been extracted or not The first index here, the first one is cooking, your price is 30. Next one is 2003, and the price is 30.95. You can see the last one, 2003, 39.95. Category equal to web. And I think I didn't map this one because I didn't, uh, <coughs> I didn't even create this one because when I imported XML profile, I just uh, imported this one. Uh, I left this and I deleted everything. I didn't add this attribute at all here in XML. That's the reason it's not uh, getting copied. If you see the right, uh, if you see the values, remaining values will match other Eric Q rate and year 2003 and price 39.5 and add, uh, I know learning XML. It's, it's like because this one just didn't uh, created in the XML profile itself. When you pass it in the input profile, it just ignores it because it doesn't match, uh, doesn't have the XML profile design. So this is a uh, one uh, a simple things how we can do with map. Uh, instead of you 
most of the things what we will do is we'll just go with us you know some kind of a custom scripting uh, not custom scripting or you know x x path uh, uh, using a xslt options we used to get these things but in, we don't need ideally to uh, go with the x path or xml uh, you know any any other options in the uh, inbuilt map shape we can able to get these things okay i hope this video helps okay in the next section we will just see how how we can uh, use the uh, uh, by keyword option here so as of now what we have done is we just clicked on by occurrence only and we we didn't see an option called by identify a qualifier so we will see this option uh, we will see this option in next sessions thank you for watching this video